It is time to tour ass. Taurus. Taurus? G3. This particular holster, Taurus G3 full size, is going to be left handed, rubber loop, sweat shield, and the PL Mini 2. This is the fun part. So I have discovered when working with the PL Mini 2, if I could actually well, get it on here, there we go. Um, when we mold with the PL Mini 2 or any flashlight that is adjustable, strike it forward a couple, right? And that will actually allow it to sit inside here no problems instead of having a cup inside this. So instead of having it that way, just one or two, lock it in place, and then we'll go from there. Uh, pretty straightforward though. We'll grab the correct blocking. There is one, and I just used the other one on a previous build. So back at it. I'm gonna start. Doing the upper. All right. And next, blocking for the flashlight. Again, you're gonna want as much of the flashlight showing. You don't wanna do this, you're gonna get the wobble. You want as much as you want in it. Line it up to just past the body. And then lock it in place. If you're using somebody else's flashlight, customer's flashlight, or one that is not yours, cover it in tape first, you will scratch it, at least with the aluminum blocking. And back to this side, this right here will be your retention point, nothing else around it. So leave a gap. That gap will be that bump you need for the retention. straight there we go try that again yeah, at least see my there it is and we know there's controls right here so we are going to block that out as well and figure out what you have for blocking and shapes and stuff let's see here I'll do that And because this is left-handed, the mounts will go on the other side. Cool thing is with uh, the rubber loops that we're gonna be mounting on this, uh, if the customer wants adjustable uh, cant, it happens anyway regardless. So you could do whatever you want for a belt attachment. It, it will literally be adjustable 100%. So for that, I'm just going to do this. But to do that, I need to put something to support it. And there it is right there. And we need a retention plate 
So let's get that. Well, I'm reading it now actually too, and it says suppressor height sights and extended barrel. I had no idea they made an extended barrel for this particular firearm. So let's grab a small drill bit here. And we're gonna have to drill in the center. I have found my missing pieces. All together, cut a retention plate, and now it's going in the oven, and then in the press. And then it's gonna come out all mwah, pretty. And of course, it's gonna be in desert sand. So I like this color. Here's a tip for you foam guys. Do not. All right, see this foam? See all the color and the ink on the foam from sublimation prints? Do not use this on light colored stuff. You wanna know why? Because whatever image is on that foam, it's going to be on this. And then that's not fun. So, use a set of different foam. This foam, I don't have it marked because it's just not marked. Because I've learned that solid colors only. And then I mess it up and I print or I press a print. And then I have to cross that out and buy another set. So, that's why I have yeah, and so, so many. So, separate colors from solids. It'll make your day better. It's in the oven. It's going to be nice. Everything's warming up. It's going to be good. It's a little chilly in the garage. But I want to do another giveaway. So thank you to Mr. Nick Greco in uh, Pittston, Pennsylvania. Um, he sent me some round light widgets. Now, we went back and forth, and I honestly, I really don't need them. I did tell him that I have two sets. I don't need three. Well, I mean... Two is one and one is none, so I guess I could use three, but I want to give these to one of you guys. So, how do we want to do this giveaway? Got any, any ideas? I am plumb out. Drop a uh, drop a comment on how you think we should do this, because I want to give them away to someone who needs them, and go from there. So, if you have an idea, or if I even come up with something, let's give them away. 100% free to you. Um, let's do it. Booyah. First thing we're going to do, once everything is all out, lock it, push it all the way in to where we know it is. And then just continue as if everything is normal. And get the trigger. Now I'm colorblind, so sometimes this sucks, but it is what it is. We're gonna put right here, right here. You can use a black Sharpie or a black pencil. I do have black fabric pencils, but the fact is, ready? Put that there. But last time I did it black. Didn't want to come off, but it looks like it came off. So guess what? We're gonna use this because being colorblind sucks. All right. So down. And we're gonna come here and like so. And this has a full sweat shield. And then draw to where the ejection port is. And that'll give you your mark cut. And we're gonna make sure, yep, our blocking sits right in here. So we are fine. So let's go ahead and drill that. This is going to be 7.30 seconds. And the spacing of a foamy is actually the same spacing as two rubber clips next to each other. And 
then cut. A little bit of cleaning. Wipe this puppy down inside and out. Getting all the crevasses. Gonna get rid of the crap on the inside of these holes. And I know, because I already did a test fit, that the amount of retention right here is pretty hard. So we're going to have to gently warm this area up and work the gun in and out to uh, set the retention. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and get the retention um, hardware. Let's check it. Actually, that's not terrible. Given that you can loosen it up as well. I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to gently warm that up just a little bit. I have it to where it is absolutely perfect in my opinion. I love it. I think I think that'll be good. So, and it was just literally a quick heat up right there, and then I worked the gun in and out to uh, to get that. Next will be these guys finishing touches. The hardware that comes with it is literally the hardware that you'll need. You don't have to change anything out. I don't use uh, Loctite on these, only because um, these are adjustable to the end user, so they can uh, Loctite them if they want to. So, put the screw inside the snap, set it to the width you want, and then screw it into the rubber. That way you don't have to hold three pieces together. Actually, technically five. You got the holster, the screw, the button, the rubber, and the Chicago. All right. So set that in there, just line it up, and then we're going to wait to tighten it. Get this back, ended up dropping this one. And then you can see how it's adjustable like that, so you can literally do whatever you want for it. Get them into the spot you want, and then tighten it down. And then check the snaps. I like it. And there is a left-handed Desert Tan Taurus G3 with the Olight PL Mini 2. Now to Clean it up again because light colors suck. Ship it off. Enjoy.